Hey everybody, it's me. Oh my God, it's really, really windy out there. So we got some more snow last night here in Delaware and I did attempt to put the solar panel on yesterday. I promised you guys I would do a video, but we were unsuccessful in putting it up. We got it up, I mean, we had it up there and the cords worked. I had the 10 foot cord coming in through the side window back here and plugged into the Jackery. I was pulling about 92 watts and I wasn't even really in full sun. It was, it was pulling really good wattage. I made some popcorn. I, you know, tested it out. Now this was before we um, tore the sticky sheet off and tried to put it on top of the toolie, you know, like press it down. Well, my friend came at three o'clock I had the ladders on both sides of the van so that we could both get up there and push down on it after we took the adhesive off. We start pushing down and my side went down, but when Bob tried to do his side, it kept popping up. So because of the contour of the cargo carrier, the Thule Motion has this ridge like up thing that lifts up in the middle of it and then it slopes down in the front well, because of that ridge in the middle, and it's only about not even an inch in depth, you know, in, in depth, high, it would not go down. So I took it off and I rolled it up and I contacted the company and they're going to give me a refund. The guy who bought it for me, they're going to give him a refund. I just have to pay to ship it. So anyway, I was very disappointed. Um, so I'm not putting the panel on top of the van now. It looks like I'm just gonna have to get by with my two 100 watt portable panels, which isn't a big deal because when I'm driving, I can charge my Jackery with the DC of my car. So that charges it while I'm driving. And when I'm boondocking, I can just put my solar panels out on top of my windshield or whatever and plug them into my Jackery and they'll charge my Jackery that way. But it was just kind of convenient to be able to have that up there I was very disappointed. I felt kind of sad about it, but hey, whatever happens, you just have to go with it. I could move the cargo carrier forward or backward um, and try to put one up there um, th th that way. But the problem with that is most solar panels that are flexible, the smallest I could find was 40 inches long. Um, and usually they're like the smallest I could find in width was 21 inches. So. In order to get at least a 100 watt panel, that's the kind of length I'm gonna be dealing with. And I only have three feet. Um, if I move my cargo carrier forward or backward, I only have three feet to work with. So I'm not gonna be able to do it. And I mean, que sorari sorari, it is what it is. I can get by with my portable solar panels. I'm very disappointed. But anyway, guys, that's what happens sometimes. But I just wanted to update you because I know you were all looking forward to that install video and I was looking forward to it as well. I do want to touch base on some other things though. Um, I've been working on the configuration of the van. I have some a few ideas that I've, I've come up with. One is clothing storage, which um, I'm really excited about my clothing storage. And I'm going to be sharing that with you in a few minutes. Um, I also want to show you um, my dirty laundry storage idea that I just came up with, which that's always a problem. Even in the um, cargo vans, they have problems with where they're going to put their laundry. A lot of people do little laundry um, chutes and stuff that go down into their garage in the big ProMasters and the Sprinters. They do that. In this case, I have a minivan, so I don't have room for that kind of thing. So I came up with something for that. So I'll be showing you all that. It'll be in the same video that you're watching now. Um, but yeah, I, I had a bit of a disappointment yesterday. And I also found out that my girl that was gonna caravan with me out to Arizona has decided not to go. And I'm a little disappointed about that as well. So a combination of the girl that I was gonna caravan with bailed on me. And then I started getting um, bullied in this minivan lee facebook group so those two things and the other thing is my solar panel i kind of felt like god was telling me susie don't go 
I just don't want you to go. It's just some, I don't know whether something's going to happen here at my home or with my mother because she's 90 and maybe something will happen to her and he, he wants me to stay put. All I can tell you guys is I'm not going to Quartzsite. So now I've decided instead of going all the way out there, which is a 36 hour drive, I'm going to go south. I'm going to go to like Florida or Georgia and just camp down there for about two weeks and then come home. That way, if something would come up with my mother, I'm not that far away that I can come home and take care of whatever I have to take care of. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to go camping winter, you know, for my snowbird camping trip, but I'm just not going to go out west. So I, 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 I feel like my balloon was totally deflated and I feel really, really sad. But I'm trying to get joy in my heart again. I'm trying to keep on the sunny side. I try not to be a negative person. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. We're going to do the clothing thing next. See ya. Okay, I'm going to show you my new clothing storage idea. Uh, remember, originally, I was going to put the clothes up here in my clothing bags in between the seats. Well, now, as you can see, I have a rattan looking basket situated there between my seats and what that's going to be it's going to be my dirty laundry container so it's pretty cool i'll try to show you i have some paper towels in there that fell in the mud <laughs> i just have them stuck in there right now but this is really deep it's really really deep so it's going to make a good clothing uh, dirty wash container. I'm just going to put a uh, laundry or a garbage bag in there. And then I have my shoe storage bag in there as well. Put my shoe storage bag in there. But um, I'm just going to stick these in here because they were, they got muddy yesterday. And then I can use it as a little table. Because this surface here will make a nice little table. Um, if we stop somewhere for fast food on our way on our trip, I can just use that as a little tabletop. I still have room in here for my water containers because I will be going dry camping when I go because it's too cold for me to fill my water tanks. So I'm just going to carry a couple gallons of water. And I can fit them in there and I can fit some in there underneath my where Teddy sits. I have my table up there see my table that I use and then I have a basket behind it and that's where I'm going to put the rest of my water <clears throat> so what I did back here this has become my clothing storage okay so what this is it's an Ikea cube it's like a big cube and it's made of nylon it's really really lightweight it fits really nicely on top of my refrigerator and over the top of my sink. You can see my my fridge is under here. And I have this tray over my sink. But I can still access my fridge if I want to. But when I get to my location where I'm camping, I'll put this in my tent. But it's kind of nice because it has this zipper that protects your clothing from dirt and water. And then I put these little <clears throat> cubes. They're like little storage cubes. I put these in here and I can, you know, put my clothing <clears throat> in those. And then I can still use, I still have plenty of room for my clothing bags. I have all this room on the side, all the way back there. Yeah, that's my storage solution. Again, this is an Ikea. It does have these little, I don't know what they're for. It has two of these little handles here. So I guess you could hang it off of something if you wanted to. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Ted wants to say hi. <laughs> hi, Ted. Hi, Teddy. I'm getting ready to take him for a walk. He wants to go for a walk. When I say the word walk, he goes crazy. Look at him. Teddy wants a walk. He wants to go for a walk. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm really disappointed that we're not going to go to Quartzsite. But you know what? God has a way of working things out. You know, whenever he changes your plans, you just have to go with the program. You can't get upset. You can't get discouraged. Oh, wow. Teddy looks tired. You have to hang in there, you know? So we're going to shift gears. We're going to go south. doesn't matter as long as we're in a warm climate. That's all I care about. 
And I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't too thrilled about going to the desert in the first place because, you know, the desert looks so desolate and barren and I don't know. It, it doesn't do anything for me. I, I do want to go out there, but I think if I go to Arizona, I think I'm just going to fly on an airplane, <laughs> to be honest, and just take my grandson with me because he's going to be going to school out there and we'll go exploring, rent a car and do it upright, you know, and I'll be able to stay at a hotel or whatever, but that's an awful long distance to go with my van. I just don't feel comfortable with it and with everything else that happened, I'm just glad that I'm kind of getting this shift from God to do something different. So thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.